Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. I believe today is the day where we where we finally are gonna catch ourselves a Psyduck. And in order to accomplish that, I'm gonna have to take a quick detour because um, I didn't know that Psyduck was actually available to us right after defeating the first gym leader. I didn't know this. Apparently, once you have the Rock Smash ability, there's a new section that you can go through in one of the previous caves. caves. And uh, we're gonna catch ourselves a Psyduck there. Uh, apparently, it has a 30% chance of appearing, which is pretty good. It means that Psyduck will show up uh, very, very frequently. So, well, okay, now there are tons of uh, Pokemon around here. But I'm gonna try to get there uh, right now, and yeah, I guess I can. <laughs> now that the bird lock is over, like uh, like now my Pokemon can die whenever they want to. Like who cares? <laughs> I guess I can cut the video now because uh, like really, there's no really again. Well, okay, I will see you there. All right, guys. So I'm back at the Orbro Gate or something like that, and uh, this is the rock that I told you that you can now smash. Uh, with a random Bidoof that lives in the streets and uh, Now we can get to this new area of the of the mine where you will see that apparently there are there are Psydax available So good news because <laughs> we can finally increase the size of our team which is about time um, Also, I believe one thing I didn't notice or I didn't um, take into consideration before is that perhaps once we get access to the underground perhaps we will have the opportunity to catch more bird Pokemon in there uh, I cannot ensure this 100% but uh, that might be the case um, I mean we will find out once we have access to the underground I think I will I think I will pay a visit to the underground see, see what's going on down there and like I said, maybe we get lucky and find some more bird Pokemon in there, but um, I'm not really counting on it. Uh, I'm gonna, at the very least, I know that there are a few, okay, it's like, there's the Psyduck, nice. Um, I know there are a few bird Pokemon that I can catch and I know where to catch them. Uh, and if I can catch a little more, more than those, that's fine. If I can't, then uh, that's also fine. Uh, Alright, so we got uh, a Psyduck here, let's go with, uh, actually, I could switch to, I'll probably, I'll probably switch to number one because I can use the water gun, Psyduck is resistant to the water gun, so less chances for me to screw this up and kill the Psyduck, I, I believe, so I'm gonna try that, I'm gonna try that right now yeah you see it's perfect so maybe two or three of those water guns that should be more than enough let's go with another one okay now it's hmm should I use water gun again I don't think it's gonna kill it Let, let's try one more time yeah, there you go, you see? I mean, if it were a crit, then yeah, I would have killed the Psyduck. But, uh, you know, I risked it and, and it worked. Uh, crits are not that often. They don't show. They don't happen that often, so... Anyway, I think we are in good shape to catch it, right? Yes. There we go. We got ourselves a Psyduck. And number one evolved, no, not evolved, uh, leveled up. Psyduck is gonna be very cool because we're gonna have um, we're gonna have psychic type uh, moves. At the very least, we have confusion. I I suppose we will at some point learn. Uh, we will also learn psychic, which is the most powerful one, I believe, and that's gonna be super useful. All right. So there we go. Now we can go back to the Flora something town. 
Alright, I'm gonna head back there and I'll see you guys, uh, I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, so here we are back at Floaroma Town. Um, I don't know if there are any, any quests or something that I can do here. Well, here it says that Ognach went to Eterna City, so you better make your way there too. I will explore a little bit around here first. Uh, as always, we, you never know, we might find... Um, we might find uh, some hidden items or some NPCs could give us some sort of items that we could use. There are also the grants of the galactic team here but they don't they don't seem to be searching for a fight or looking for a fight so so that's okay uh, okay these people have nothing to give to me i guess oh this one does okay cool so we got the tm plaque was it it eats a berry held by its opponent in battle. I like how it steals a berry, it's so cute. <laughs> okay, that, that sounds cool. Let's see if I can teach that thing to somebody. Uh, this is uh, Rock Smash, okay. Uh, Syrak and, and Primblap uh, can learn it. This one is Stealth Rock. Uh, yeah, not really interested in that. Oops. Rock Tomb, number one can learn it. This one... Number one and number two can learn it. Ah, this is a very nice one. It's a flying one and it also gets the berry. This one is really cool. Um, I'm gonna teach it to number two. Yes. Uh, wing attack does 60. The target is struck with large imposing wings spread wide to inflict damage. Um... So, I actually have a question. Does that mean that the wing attack would affect uh, both enemies if it is a double team fight? I'm not sure about this, guys. Uh, but uh, even if that was the case, I think I'm still gonna teach uh, this guy Pluck. I'm gonna replace wing attack with Pluck because um, I think the ability to get the berry for, for myself is pretty cool. And it deals the same damage, so I'm gonna go with Pluck. Alright, very nice. Then Rock Tomb. There's also this thing, the Rock Smash. Power 40, it's a fighting type. I guess it doesn't harm if I teach it to somebody. Whoops. Maybe Psyduck? What moves does Psyduck have? Um, Tail Whip, Water Gun, Confusion, Fury Swipes. Okay, I'm not too thrilled about the Fury Swipes, to be honest. Uh, Water Gun, even Water Gun is not that important because I already have number one for that. Psychic, of course, is a must. But I'm not too thrilled about the Fury swipe, Swipes. I think I'm gonna replace that with Rock Smash. There we go. Nice. Okay, so now... By the way, I think I'm gonna put number 3 at the beginning of the party so that uh, I can train it faster. I can level it up uh, faster. And, uh, yeah. Pick a pack of colors, flower shop, free berries available. Okay. Let's see if I can get those free berries. Please water berries using this spray duck, water can. Okay, you obtain the spray duck. So if I do... Can I interact with this thing? No? Okay. What about you? A single berry will grow into a plant that makes several berries. By planting one, there will be more and more berries in the world. Oh, there's a chest of berry. Nice. Thank you so much. What about you? W would you like to exchange your berries for some stickers? Nah. <laughs> I don't care at all about the stickers. Like, not even in the slightest. There are two cherry berries. Would you like to pick them? Sure. Nice. Two berries for myself. Can I can I water this now? Yes. Uh, well, I can plant... Actually, I'm not gonna plant anything. Uh, what about these? Oran berries. Okay, cool. Two oran berries for myself. 
Berry trees are profoundly interesting. If you grow them with care, they will bear great berries. Alright. There's the shop. I don't care about the shop for now. Uh, there's the Pokemon Center. What about this house? Hello. How are you? Uh, sweet scent of honey. Yeah, sure. A cute sense of smell. Okay. I guess there's nothing else to do here. Is it? Yeah, no, I don't think so. So let's keep going then. This is Route 205. Um, okay, I know that in this route you can catch uh, you can catch a buisel or something like that. I don't know how it's called. Like, I think it's buisel, but I might be wrong. Anyway, uh, that's not a bird Pokemon, but I can I can change that. Uh, wait a minute. Can you see my? Papa for me, he works at the Valley Windworks. But the people dressed like space aliens are mean and won't let me in. Uh, Valley Windworks. Wait a second. This seems to be like a side quest of some sort. Where are... Ah, ah it's here. Uh, I need to go to Eternal City, but now I have this quest. <laughs> okay, I should actually go up. Not there, but... But that's fine, I can find your daddy, no problem. Um, ah, the galactic guys, okay. Well, before I go to them, yeah, I just wanted to say that... Um, well, let's see what Pokemon are here. You can catch a Buisel in this uh, in this route. There it is. Buisel, there we go. So I'm gonna catch it because I can exchange this Buisel for a Chatot. Which is another one of those... Uh, and Chatot is one of those uh, bird-type Pokémon that we can add to our party. So we are definitely going to... To catch this Buisel. So let's try... Let's try using Confusion. I don't know what this... Uh, the the type of this Pokémon I believe is Water-type, but uh, I'm not 100%... Uh, uh, not 100% sure about this. I might be completely mistaken. Anyway, I'm gonna use Confusion. Okay, I think if I use a third Confusion, I'm gonna uh, defeat it, so I'm just gonna go for the Pokeball now. And there we go. Nice. So again, I'm not gonna use this Pokemon. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna nickname it because it's not gonna be part of our our party. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna use it to exchange it for one of the bird Pokemon that I want. Um. Okay, so swap Pokemon. No. Uh, there. Ah, two boxes. Yeah, this is what I wanted. So I'm gonna box this thing away for a second. Along with the legendary Pokemon <laughs> and the Bidoof. No, these are not legendary, these are mythical. This is even even more rare than than the legendary Pokemon. Okay, so there's some um, There's a Pokeball here with a potion, that's cool. I'm gonna keep Psyduck in front and speak to this guy. Don't you dare go into the valley windworks. I got orders to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes me think you're gonna try to get in. Okay then, you'll have to battle me for it. Sure? I guess if we cannot solve our differences like uh, civilized people, we will solve them by making our Pokémon fight. Not to the death, but to the faint. <laughs> We will make our Pokémon harm each other. Uh, okay, so we got a Glamio. I don't know what the, the type of this Pokémon. Um, gonna go with Confusion and see what happens. Fake out. Oh, nice. I flinched. Well, let's try again. Scratch. Oh, my. This one is a very strong Pokémon. I mean, compared to my Psyduck, I mean, it's... Two levels higher than, than my Psyduck. 
Okay, maybe let's switch to number two. I think uh, number two should be able to handle this uh, Glamio. Shouldn't be a big deal. Okay, it uses Growl. That's fine. I'm not too thrilled about it. Let's go with Pluck. And there you go. It was a crit also, so yeah. Very, very straightforward. Okay, number two grew up to level 16. That's awesome. And I defeated this guy. So yeah, just a pushover. Isn't that just great, getting owned by some kid? But you can't do a thing if I lock myself in with my works key. That's right, the other works key is not here. My cohorts in the flower patch have the only other one. Haha, <laughs> in that sense, I'm no longer the loser. Yeah, well, tell yourself the story you want to tell, but uh, <laughs> reality doesn't change. Uh, okay, so hello guys. Uh, are you up for a fight? I would assume you are. Although my Psyduck should be healed. I think that would be a good idea. So let's use a potion. And let's try maybe... Wait a second. Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's just go with those two. We Team Galactic are conducting research in Eterna Forest. This is as far as you will go. Our research involves catching Pokémon in the flowery meadows of Fluaromatam. We are also using the energy of the Valley Windworks for something. But that is of no concern to you. Oh, okay, so this is these are not the, the guys that have the key, I suppose. So who has the key? Ah, maybe, maybe back in the town. Let's go back to the town. I remember there were two grants in there. So maybe those are the ones that have the key. Oh, okay, they are not here anymore. Ah, but maybe they are inside. Yeah, here. Enough arguing. Hand over that sweet honey. Do as we say, Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokémon in great numbers. Hey, this kid is a witness. What we'll do? We can't have the brat running off to get help. The solution is simple. We must ensure the brat stays quiet. Yeah, well, I mean... <laughs> the only way you can do that is if you kill me. And you're not going to kill me. So... I don't know what you're thinking, guys, but... Uh, but uh, I cannot come up with a punchline for that joke. <laughs> okay, so effective, effective water gun. Um, let's go with water gun. Let's go with water gun. That should be enough. Tackle. Yeah, not too scared about it. Not at all. Three water guns and that should be it. A poison sting. I guess it always poisons me, the poison sting. Yeah, every time I get hit by the poison sting, I get uh, poisoned. Uh, it's pretty much uh, pretty much guaranteed. I don't know the actual chances of that happening, but from my experience, it's pretty much guaranteed. Okay, Psyduck number 10, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, let's... Uh, they're gonna switch to Silcoon. I don't even know that Pokemon. Ah, that thing, right. Yeah, I still don't remember about... <laughs> I still don't remember that thing. Um, Let's go with number two. Let's just go with number two. Maybe use Plaque. It's using Harden. Is it maybe a back type? Perhaps it's a back type. Huh? We'll, we're gonna find out now. Let's go with Black. Yeah, it's probably a back type. It's probably a back type. If it is weak to flying. Alright. Another pushover. This is so lame. I'm up next. Hehe. <laughs> Battling you right after my cohort has weakened you gives me the edge. 
That is uh, brave of you, assuming that I'm weakened. At least weakened enough that uh, that you can actually beat me. Say that is not doing so well for sure, but uh, I'm gonna switch immediately to number one, and this should be done. We should be done with this fight somewhat soon. Let's go with Water Gun, let's not overcomplicate things. It used Astonish. Okay. Nothing too crazy. Water Gun again, Subat fainted, alright. So you defeated the Team Galactic Grant. If only I had some decent Pokémon. This Brad's tough, like really, really tough. Tougher than I can put into words, and I know a lot of words. We're done for now, let's get back to the Valley Windworks. Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a works key, it must be for the Valley Windworks. It's of no use to me, you may as well have it. Alright, nice. We can finally rescue that little girl's dad, apparently. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. They sure were weird, though. Oops. Uh, what they were saying didn't make a whole lot of sense either. Oh, I need to thank you. Will you take this as my thanks? A jar of honey. You put the jar of honey in the other item's pocket. If you slather lather that honey on a sweet smelling tree, it might attract Pokémon. Yeah. Exactly, I've seen about this too, that you can you can put honey on trees and that will attract uh, back type Pokemon or I don't know if other types of Pokemon as well, but yeah, it will attract Pokemon basically. The flowers that grow in the fields are special. Yeah, okay, you can thank Pokemon for that. Nothing else here, I believe. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go back then. You you can notice now that uh, it's uh, the sun is setting, and uh, if I wanted to catch, I mean the the last three or some, I mean, uh, like when I did uh, the research that I did, I, I saw four. There are four more. At the very least, there are four more bird Pokemon that I can catch. Uh, three of them, I can only catch them at night. That's, uh, or no, two of them actually. So, I will probably have to play this game at night if I want to, if I want to catch those two. What? No way, you have the key? Locking the door was meaningless. I am the loser in this, after all. This is no time for self-pity, I've got to alert the commander. Okay, sure. Like, that's gonna help. Not much. Uh, okay. So this is like uh, one of those hideouts of the of the evil team in this game. I probably should have gone to the Pokemon Center. I was there a while ago. <laughs> now that I notice. Okay, it's fine. Let's just. Uh, oops. Let's use this antidote and let's heal. We can always buy some more potions and antidotes, so it's fine. And let's battle this guy. This hideout doesn't seem to be too big, but <laughs> let's see. Okay, so he sends out a Cascoon. Seems to be the evolution of the previous Pokémon that we saw. I'm gonna try Confusion, maybe it's also a Poison type, I don't know. Okay, probably not. But, um... Maybe I will still, I will still go with Confusion. I can probably defeat it only with Psyduck. That would be great. I can level up my Psyduck. Yeah, it goes for Harden again, okay. This is, uh... This is easy, my friends. One more confusion and, and we're good to go. Okay, level 11. 
That's very nice. You messed up my job. Now you're gonna you're not gonna get a bonus. Ah, poor guy. Okay, uh, now you. Collecting electricity from the Valley Windworks, that's our mission. I don't remember at all the story from when I played uh, Pokemon Diamond back in the day. I don't know what these guys are up to, like, it's like I'm playing this game uh, brand new. <laughs> so, so that's great, I guess that means uh, I'm gonna get the same surprises as, as you would if you are playing this game for the first time. Okay, uh, Wampum goes for Tackle, that that doesn't scare me at all. Let's go for Water Gun, let's see how much damage it deals. Oh, much more than Confusion. I mean, it makes sense, it's a World type move and Psyduck is a World type Pokemon. Only if... Um, if Wampum was Poison type also, Confusion would be more effective, I suppose. But that uh, doesn't seem to be the case, so I'll just go for the... Uh, yeah, let's keep the current Pokémon. I'll just go for the... For the Water Gun. Now here... Oh, Rock Smash is super effective, okay. Maybe Glamio is a normal type uh, Pokémon then. Wow, that did a lot of damage, actually. That did a lot of damage. Uh, okay, as long as it's not a crit, I can take another one, so I'm gonna go with... Uh... Yeah, I think the previous one was a crit, probably, uh, and I didn't notice, maybe. And there you go. There you go, Glamio is down. Very good. I really don't like kids who also happen to be trainers. <laughs> I can imagine why. I can imagine why. I should probably heal before I talk to that woman. So, potion... There we go. I can speak to this guy. Oops, too late. I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. But people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. That sounds like a fair deal to me. So let's go for it. Commander Mars. Commander Mars sent out Zubat. Fine by me. Is Zubat poison type? Le yeah, yeah, it is poison type. Now Zubat does U-turn. Okay, that does quite a bit, but... Uh, oh, and now Subat leaves. Okay, fantastic. And she sends out uh, Paragli. Okay, I went with Confusion. Okay, Paragli is a little more intimidating. It's level 16. I don't think Psyduck can take it. So... I'm definitely going to switch. Uh, probably to number 1. So let's go, let's go with number one. Let's see if I get lucky. Oh, no luck for me, unfortunately. Okay, no big deal. Let's go with Water Gun. Yeah, that probably doesn't seem to be that confused <laughs> at all. Water Gun doesn't do much. I mean, understandable. I'm only one level higher than, than the Parogly. Okay, I got lucky this time. That's awesome. Let's go with Water Gun again. Oh, I should have used Black with number two. <laughs> but okay, that's fine. That's completely fine. Maybe I get lucky again? Nope. It uses Thief. Okay, not a big deal. I think if I had an item, I would have lost it. Uh, probably would have stolen it from me, I, I believe. But since I didn't have it, that's fine. Alright, Poragli is down, that's cool. 
Psyduck is level. Oh, everybody leveled up. That's great. That's fantastic, actually. Number three is level 13. And Psyduck wants to learn Water Pulse. Uh, okay, I don't know what Water Pulse does. Let's see. The user attacks the target with a pulsing blast of water. This may also confuse the target. Okay. Very, very good. Water Gun is 40, Water Pulse is 60. Yeah, I'm definitely. I'm definitely teaching Water Pulse to number 3. Absolutely. Number 2 is level 17. And then she's gonna send out uh, Zubat. Uh, let's go straight up for number 2. I'm not gonna waste my time switching to side at first. Okay, she sends Subat. Inner focus, yeah, okay, whatever. Let's go with black. There we go. Now I'm confused, but hopefully... Hopefully I will attack this time again, let's see. Yeah, perfect. Very easy. Very easy fight. These guys are just uh, pushovers. Oops, I messed that one up. That's alright though, I quite enjoyed our battle. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. And yeah, they kept their word. Team Galactic. They were saying they had to gather Pokemon energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. Anyway, I can't tell you how grateful I am to you for saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. And there she is. Papa, yuck. Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you reunite with your dad after a while and the first thing you say is that? <laughs> Come on, little girl. You made those bad people go away. Thank you, trainer. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. I don't know what the balloon Pokemon is, but whatever. Alright, guys. So, I think that's gonna be it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and see you in the next video.